Hey, Internet friend, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Lifestyle Academy and Synergy Everything. I love Synergy because that's one plus one equals 11. I'm missing it. My finger. Hey, I've got a <laughs> new friend online. He's down in Oklahoma. His name is Mike Akins. You there, Mike? Loud and clear? Yes, I am. Loud hey. and clear. Hey, Here I am. Internet technology. We've been having a little glitches, but that's part of life, right? Keep on trucking. Yes, sir. So tell me, are you married and got kids? Are you single, wild, and crazy? What's up on that end? I, I am single, wild, and divorced for about 20 years now. Uh, I do have two beautiful daughters. Uh, one is at USC, finishing her uh, doctorate degree in uh, therapy. And my younger daughter just graduated from high school. Whew. So you got a gap there. Yeah. <laughs> how, about, how many pets? You got a dog, cat, bird, goldfish? No, no animals at this point. I only have time for myself <laughs> and chasing women. I get that. I understand. Busy, busy, busy. I'm married. We got one little puppy. He's fun. Oh, good. Keeps us busy. What kind? I'm not sure. It's one of those rescues. So oh. it's, a, it's a Chihuahua oh. Corgi mix. It's got, he's got big ears and kind of oh. stubby feet. And nice of you guys to do that, rescue yeah. a dog. That's good stuff. He's got a mind of his own, too. He's kind of bizarre. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah. you are a business consultant. That's what you had told me earlier. Are you, do you work in any specific yes, types of business, or is it just online well, business, a business in general? Tell us a little about that. Yeah, I do so many different things, um, I, and it's all based on uh, my entrepreneurial career. Uh, as I was telling you earlier, a company called Office Clean America, which was a janitorial or business, building services company in Dallas, Texas, huh? back in 94. So I uh, that for about 15 years or so, and then my partner ended up buying me out of the corporation. So I went out on my own, and... Uh, um, I, I probably did another five years or so in the janitorial industry, but got a little tired of that because uh, just didn't seem to be any innovation or, and it didn't motivate me to keep trying to create things. Because sure. That's what I like to do. I like to create things. So uh, since then, I, I've uh, done a little bit of everything. I just became a small business consultant because I want to give my 20 or so years of being in business for myself, uh, give us just help and the things that they might need, a business plan, marketing, sure. setting up your small office. I mean, you name it. I've done, I'm here to help people in their quest. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's something that a lot of people don't realize that you think, okay, I can start my own business. But there's a lot of little simple little things that we already know because we've been there that uh, we can tell them how to just jump that, make quantum leap over and above all that kind of stuff. So it's helpful to have a, a little coach consultant to say, hey, do I really need a tax ID or do I have to do quarterly taxes or do I have to? And we can just kind of set it up. Absolutely. Absolutely. You get to. Yes, indeed. I, I was just, uh, earlier interview, I was talking with the guy that uh, helps people sell businesses. You know, that's that's okay. his thing. So you've already experienced that kind of thing. Because some people, when they're starting a yeah. business, are you planning on building it and growing it? Or are you planning on building it and selling it? So it's it's different right. when you know all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So do you work um, primarily in Oklahoma City there? Or do you kind of, uh, anybody actually, with a... I dibble, yeah, actually, I dibble and dab between uh, Houston Dallas to Oklahoma City. It's about an eight-hour stretch okay. in a car between those three major cities. And I spend probably equal time in all three. Okay. Do, you, do you do like person-to-person -person consulting and coaching, or do you have an online program or something like that? Person-to-person, -person, just word of mouth. And the biggest things that I'm doing right now, the biggest things that take up the majority of my time is I'm an author now. And I met you on the... Uh, nonfiction Authors Association, well, a member of that. So okay. That's how I found out about you. Uh, okay. it's, it's called A Simple oh, Guide to Child Support Redemption. Okay. Got it. So, uh, yeah. 
so, being an author. So that's a so, whole whole industry in and of itself, the concept of how to get your book done and where do you get it printed and published and the cover design. It's, I mean, a lot of times, I think it's uh, Wayne Dyer. He says he designs the cover, I think, before he even writes the book. I mean, I just throw stuff on the Internet and people find it. <laughs> right, right. That's a good thing. So back to you then. So I like the idea that you do a lot of stuff personal in in person kind of consulting because there's a lot of people out there that just they they say they know about business and then they do right. coaching and they sell people on these coaching programs and they don't know what they're talking about. You know, when when you're yeah. when you're real, you can meet the people they hang with and you kind of really find out what they're really all about rather than their uh camera, their computer camera in their bedroom kind of. <laughs> Absolutely. I tell you what, if I other person that's doing multi-level marketing and that's trying to bring me into that, it's just like I see him and way I see him coming and I'm just like, look, I don't have the time for it. I just don't. And yep. I've lost some good friends over that. Sure. I've been in it and out of it and in and out of it. I got a love hate relationship for it. I'm a little sidebar. I yeah. think that they're doing it wrong. I think it needs to be restructured from the way Amway did it years ago. And uh, they're just, they're duplicating themselves into a hole. Anyways, right. <laughs> enough of that. Let's get back to you. Right. So, so yeah. what is your priority then now? Is it uh, business coaching or the book? The book. The okay. The book is, uh, you know, I'm really, really trying to get it out there now. I self-published it on, on Amazon. And, um, you know, I've, I've gotten some really good. I've got a few reviews on it. Uh, it's, it's I'm starting out slow because this is my first book. Um, you know, I wanted to do it right, um, you know, and uh, maybe one of these days get picked up by one of the major publishers sure. or what have. The only thing my concern about that is I don't want to lose the creative ability to do exactly what I want to do. Because I got a book that may not, some people might not want to hear. <laughs> well, that may be a reason to move away from the publisher. And the way that the internet works these days, you can probably self-publish it better than they could. Because uh, I understand yeah. that the way they work is kind of, they're kind of constricting. And they tell you what to do and what to put out and what to take out and what to reword it. And anyway, so what's the, what's the, let's share a little bit more about what the book is actually about. Well, it's called A Simple Guide to Child Support. For redemption. Uh, I go into the whole history of the entire child support entitlement system. I had to deal with it. I got 20 years of experience dealing with that system. Okay. Uh, but it's not just about uh, not wanting to pay child support or not wanting to support my kids because it's further from the truth. I mean, I'm not that type of guy. Sure. It's about exposing the corruption and the fraud that oh, yeah. the state's system has put into this system. And I mean, they are making people homeless, yeah. ruining families, please, and they're laughing all the way to the bank. They don't care anything about the kids like they say they do. They say it's in the best interest of the kid. It's all for profit now. It used well, to be... yeah, I'm sure that's definitely an element. Whenever there's money, people go to grab it. But uh, if you think about it, a government's trying to cookie cutter everybody, but you can't because every individual has a different type of circumstance with it. So how the hell do they know, right? Right. And that's and that's the thing. They don't care individual circumstances. They just put you all in that same rabbit hole. Right. And their main, their main emphasis is to get you into a and collection mode so mm -hmm. that they can make money on interest and they can get all these call centers going and employ all these people to you and, and do all this and that when it's a total conflict of interest because the money they're collecting now doesn't all go, it goes in other places. Mm -hmm. And then the, 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 the worst thing about this entire system 
is that money for every dollar that they collect in arrears and in child support back pay and stuff like that they they get back from the government for every dollar that they collect so that creates a conflict of interest sure. type situation because it's not about money for for your children from the guy that doesn't want to pay it and then giving it to the mother to take care of the kid. Mm -hmm. It's now collections, how much collections they can get because for every dollar, the government subsidizes the dollar they collect, they get a dollar in return. So now it's about money. Okay, and I get some it. Some of that money that they collect doesn't even go to the to the to the wife anymore, wife and kids anymore. Right, it comes out of a totally different fund. It's almost like they collect account. it and then they pull it out their own way. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, I can see how that. So I mean, it's almost I, like the Medicare world, the way that uh, fraud thing happens sometimes. Yeah, and it's just it's unfortunate. Uh, I just. My thing is ex expose. See, my thing is to catch people before they fall in that rabbit hole mm -hmm. and give them some options to do before they get where they can't get out. Because once you get so far down in it, there's no way out. Right. Lawyers nowadays will not even uh, or even help you in your best interest because they work for the Bar Association and the judges and the other side of the court system. See, I their allegiance is to the court system. Yeah. You wouldn't think that. Everybody thinks, hey, I can just go out and get a lawyer and go to court and he's gonna help me. I no, I think it's always, of, it's always good to kind of analyze something and follow the money trail because that's usually the way it really goes. I get it. Yeah. So do you have absolutely. a way that people can, uh, like a website or something that directs to that book? Well. Brad, uh, be honest with you, I used to be a web developer, uh -huh. and uh, I probably created over 20 different websites in my career. So at this point, I wanted to do something a little different and do it without a website, if that makes any sense. Oh, it definitely does. I mean, sometimes I you feel, don't have to. Yeah, websites are overkill. If you're not doing the business yet, or if you don't have the clicks and the uh, unique visitors, sure. Visit. It's no sense of paying that money and going out there and paying for a hosting plan if you got ten people looking at your website a week. I agree. You're like a bottle cap floating in the ocean. So I'm not at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not at that point yet where I deserve a website based on my audience, but I am in the process of developing a bit through YouTube, through a mobile app that I'm developing now. And also through just direct marketing. So you could they can get the book by just going on Amazon and searching that the title, right? Correct. Sure, I get it. Let Amazon do the work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, cool. Well, you know, the good thing about it is that the book goes all around the world. Yeah. You know, you got Amazon Australia, you got Amazon Brazil, you got Amazon Japan, mm -hmm. and you got Amazon so my book goes all around the world. Got it. It gives me that type of exposure. Well, let, so, why don't you hold the book up again so we can see the title, and then people will be able to just uh, Google that title. There's the title. So, A Simple Guide to Child Support Redemption. Correct. Got it. Okay, thanks. Well, I, I don't like to do these too long because people got lives to live and all that kind of stuff, so I keep them kind of condensed so I people can it. grab it, digest it, and move on, and then maybe down the road we can do another one. So... I'm going to sign this one off now that we know okay. how to find you. And then what I'll do is I'll propagate this out to the, the universe and then let people find it here and there. And if you want to stay on, we'll uh, have, have a further chat. Other than that, I'm going to close this one off. Okay? All right. Sounds Peace. good, Brad. Thank you, bud. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you. <laughs>